Shalom, Israel. It's your brother, New Breed, coming through with another live stream. We got to talk about why it's time to start to distance ourselves from a lot of people. Don't get comfortable around them, ladies and gentlemen. Don't get comfortable at all. You cannot trust them. It is nothing like being in the company of people who believe their own damn lies. That's a very dangerous setting to be in. When you really put things into perspective, that's dangerous. A lot of your closest friends, your family members, your colleagues, your associates, they actually believe their own lies. Those type of people will contaminate you. They will contaminate the fiber of your being. They will pollute your judgment. They will stop you from rising to the occasion. They will stop you from moving forward in life. They're toxic. Let's get all the sympathetic reasoning out of there. Let's throw all that out the window. It's time for God's people to actually rise. It's time to let all the love bombing go. When people start telling you they love you and they just use that word so very loosely, a lot of the times that'll be the first one to do you in dirty. It'll be that Judas to stab you in the back. The one that say they love you. They use that word as a weapon of mass destruction. Trust ain't no trust. There's a reason why the chosen ones keep people at a distance. It's because we have a greater understanding. We know that other chosen ones are far and few in between. It's not that likely that you're gonna come across genuine people who are trying to serve the creator in sincerity. Yes, we have a spiritual family, but we are spread abroad. And when we do come in contact with each other, it works because we support each other's interests. It works seamlessly. But for most individuals, the mass public, you cannot trust, you must distance yourself from them. They are looking for a weakness in you. They are constantly looking for a weakness and they're ready to attack at any given moment. They don't wanna see you succeed in life. They are preying on your downfall constantly without warrant or merit. They have no reason to hate you, but they do. They are spiritually intimidated by you. They feel like when you rise, that's their downfall because they operate with Satan. Satan knows that he has but a short amount of time. So when they see God's people rising, they get very nervous. They know that the sand in the hourglass is dropping for them. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people that we're very sympathetic towards, they're low lives. They're low lives. Now, when I call somebody a low life, I'm not talking about their financial position in life. I'm not talking about um, 
what they make in a year. I'm not talking about their income because you got some quote unquote high value people out here who are low lifes. Meaning the frequency they operate in is very low level. And believe it or not, you can be practically homeless, poor, and those people who are highly revered and quote unquote successful will look down, will basically look down at you, but at the same time be jealous of you. Wow. How could you look down on an individual, but at the same time be jealous of them because they are high lives. They have a different spirit, a different soul, and they envy that. Ladies and gentlemen, they envy your souls. They envy your spirit. Regardless of where they're at in life. They can't help but to be crabs. They can't help but to look at what the next person got going on. They cannot focus on themselves. Somebody says salute, salute and salon, new breed. Yeah, seriously though, that's real talk. It's time to distance yourself from a lot of people. It's time to get the whole, the whole idea out of your mind that everybody has your best interests at heart. Listen. Take it from an individual who has been through a lot, succeeded in a lot of areas in my life. And I'm gonna tell you, when it comes to success in any level, in any level whatsoever, it's going to take making a separation between you and them, even when it hurts. The reason why a lot of your favorite rappers get gunned down in the streets is because they could not let go of their quote unquote day ones. And it has to come a time where you don't even give certain people your energy because they're not worthy of it. You cannot continue to surround yourself around individuals who can cost you your life when you're elevating in life. You are cursing the most high's blessings. The Most High God is trying to create a great gulf that's fixed between you and a lot of these people that you hold near and dear to your heart. But you too much in your feelings. And those people are gonna be your downfall. They're going to be your downfall. Some of you brothers, let some of these ladies in your life get way too damn comfortable. Some of you brothers let some of these ladies get way too comfortable. You let her get too comfortable. You never should do that because these women got to know the difference between you being their man and their lead and then their friends and their homegirls. You brothers need to start to learn to cut certain things off from the root. Some of these women become malignant roots because they get too damn comfortable. Some of you brothers need to learn how to cut these women off and say, uh-uh, no, 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 no. You keep that conversation between you and your homegirls. I'm your man. I'm your lead. What I look like. Sometimes in relationships, you got to distance yourself between you and your woman. Let, it, let her know it's a difference between you and me. I'm a man. You a woman. You're not equal to me. And I'm not trying to push this hyper masculine rah rah, you know, rule over your woman with an iron fist because that's not how you do things. But there has to be a separation. There has to be a distinction that a lot of brothers is missing. And then when she gets comfortable, she starts to finesse and finagle you. You let her you let her in on too much information. Don't give a woman nothing that you would not trust her with. Don't give her no information. that she can use against you. It's like the court of law. You don't give anybody, anybody, any information they can use against you because they will use that information to destroy you. Don't you see it on social media with all these people being doxxed left and right? Sometimes the devil is laying right beside you. And when you are rising in life, 
the old saying goes that it's lonely at the top. It's lonely. It, get, it can get very lonely at the top. And you start looking around and you'll be like, you'll say to yourself, damn, who can I trust? But it's okay because that lonely road that's less traveled will bring you closer to the creator. That lonely road that's less traveled, being isolated, casted away by those that you once loved because of your religious beliefs, because of your political beliefs and otherwise. That lonely road will bring you closer to the creator because you are willing to sacrifice everything here on this earth, in this planet, to build yourself up. Then you gain more trust in the almighty because when you go it alone, then you build true faith. Then your faith is being built because you didn't decided to go it alone. And you gotta let some people in your life know that, hey, I'm willing to go it alone. I don't need you. All I need is the creator. With or without you, I'm going to go, I'm going to go it alone. Some of y'all need to let certain people know in your life, in your life, know that. Some of y'all need to let certain people know that because they think you need them. They think that you are reliant on them. You got to be careful in this day and age. Don't you know how dangerous it is out here dealing with people nowadays? There are witches out here. Some of y'all sisters always out here telling your information to these women who are into various practices. You always telling your information that's going on with your relationship to women who are doing witchcraft, magic, playing with tarot cards. And you don't even know that's the reason why all your relationships are being cursed because you trust in these women with your information as if information can't be used as power. Thank you for the $20 contribution. It says phenomenal content as always. Thank you, I appreciate it. But this is deeper than content. I wanna speak to y'all's hearts right now. But I appreciate it. Some of you ladies out here wonder why all your relationships get destroyed. Because you know what witches do? They use information against you. You give these witches a point of entry by giving them information. And sometimes all it takes is you going to a certain individual for advice and they will use that advice to eliminate you because you are opening spiritual gateways and opening, opening spiritual doors because you're asking the wrong person for advice. You're asking the wrong person and you know what they're doing? They're doing dark prayers on the information that you've given them. They're using the information that you've given them to divine, to knock you off the radar, to make you resentful like they are. I'm telling you, you cannot trust a lot of these people. Keep people at arm's length. Some of y'all don't know how to keep your damn co-workers at arm's length and wonder why you caught up in so much damn drama at your workplace. Wonder why even when you get home from work, you have a hard time resting your body and resting your mind because you caught up in so much at work. You out here at your workplace telling way too much damn information and now you sitting in the office about to get a write up, about to get sent home, about to lose your livelihood. Why? Because you done told people too much information. Now you want to get high headed and upset when people start spreading your life all around the place. When people want to start talking about what's going on in your household, you don't tell nobody what's going on at, at the workplace, what's going on at home. You don't know how to keep these people arm length. You go there to do a job. You go there to work and go home. Make a paycheck, 
Take care of your respective family, pay your rent, pay your bills. People gonna look at you like you bougie, like you stuck up. So be it. It's better that people look at you like you bougie and stuck up and don't want nothing to do with them. It's better they look at you like that than look at you like somebody they can play with. They wonder why the chosen ones don't have many friends. We got too much intuition. Don't you know we can see right through you? Don't you know the most high God shows us things? Don't you know how the most high God has given us insight, intuition, how he gives us downloads, how we can hear his voice when a devil is approaching us? Like you can't pull the wool over our eyes. I don't know, I don't even know what'd be wrong with people for even trying. Divine guidance, thank you for the $20 contribution. Says new breed is correct on the witchcraft. Some of those witch, some of that witchcraft are from those who are sending bad energy and intentions towards you. Exactly. It says, if they are not building you up, they are tearing you down. That's a fact. But you got a lot of sisters out here who don't pay attention to what their friends believe in. Some of your friends are going to the hoodoo doctor. She going to the voodoo doctor. She going to the psychics. And when you go to her about any anything, when you try to seek any type of advice from this woman, she uses it. She goes to her spiritual advisor and talks about you. This really happens, ladies. And it's destroying your household. It's drawing a wedge between you and your significant other. And you don't even realize where this root is coming from. It's because you don't keep people at arm's length. You don't keep people at arm's length. You tell all your business to the public. Your household can be torn down easily. Loose lips sink ships. And then... A lot of you brothers, a lot of brothers, y'all gotta be careful. I'm telling you, man, gotta be careful out here. The game is, is getting real raw. The game is getting raw for you men, man. A lot of your so-called day ones, he looking at you at the side of your eyes just because you spiritually awakened. Some of you brothers be afraid to play my videos around your homies. Let me let the wind blow. Some of y'all be afraid because you know it starts to trigger certain spirits in the environment. Some of y'all afraid to share this insight to some of your homies because you know they ain't right. If your homies was right, you would be sharing all, all my videos to them, but you can't do it because you know they the exact same people I be talking about. You know damn well they don't want to see you spiritually awake. You know damn well they don't want to see you elevate. They, you know damn well they don't want to see you get off them streets and get you a gig and do things the legit way. They want to see you get taken from your family, man. These dudes in the streets want to see you in an in a eight by eight cell. They don't want to see you make something of yourself. They don't want to see you elevate in life and start a family and start a business and build yourself a home. They don't want to see that. They want to talk about what you was doing in the streets after you locked away. It's all something for them to talk about. Your reputation is just something for people to talk about. And they just waiting for you to fall. Under the Biden administration, brothers is getting thrown in prison. They getting 25 to life easy under the Biden administration. Y'all just don't understand. Them judges will give you 20 to life and not even look you in your damn eyes. They'll give you the 20, they'll give you 20 to life. They'll say it so nonchalant like they ordering a Starbucks coffee. 20 to life. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, let's all go ahead and give them 20 to life. Yeah, we'll do 20 to life. And your day ones ain't gonna give a damn about you. You better keep them dudes at arm's length. You better keep them at a distance because the more you awaken, the more you spiritually grow, the more you try to do the right thing, the more you try to keep God's laws in the Bible, the more you take heed to your identity being the melanated men, being the children of Israel that the Bible speak of, the more you take heed to who you are, and the more you elevate, the more demons possess those brothers. And those demons torment them brothers into the point where they get the gumption and the gall to just go straight at you. Because them demons want to take you out. If they can't get to you, they're going to get to them. If the demons can't get to you, it's going to get to them. So you might as well distance yourself so those demons can tear them people apart. Because they really your enemies. That dude that's beside you that claimed that his slang iron for you. That dude that's beside you that say he got your back. That's gung-ho to jump in, jump in any type of beef and drama. That's going to be the one that whack you. The ones that have these unhealthy obsessions with you, brothers. Y'all wonder why these men be having unhealthy obsessions with you. It's the light that shines in you. They want it. They looking at it. They figuring if they can exterminate you, they can get the light. It don't have nothing to do with money. It don't have nothing to do with what type of females you get. It got nothing to do with none of that. It's a light that shines in a lot of you brothers. Because the most high God is trying to call you out of this world, but you still keeping people in your circle that are trying to destroy you, man. I see this way too often there's so many horror stories i got of brothers who got into the truth and backslid just a little bit they backslid just a tad bit and started to entertain certain company and they ended up at the wrong place at the wrong time not understanding that what those guys are doing when you are surrounding yourself with them is listen it's the enemy that's going to come to collect. And when he come to collect, bullets hold names. Bullets go through walls. Bullets don't give a damn about your spiritual growth and development. Bullets don't give a damn about your awakening. Bullets don't care. But you want to be around these individuals. There's so many brothers I know that got caught, got in the car with the wrong person at the wrong time because they didn't know when it was time to get away from certain brothers. Somebody said, yo, Bree, off topic, but did you see the Pope is going to consecrate Russia, trying to fulfill the demon prophecy from 1917 from, from Fatima? No, I didn't see that, but I'll check it out. that wind blow and everybody thumb the video up the old saying goes don't let your left hand know what the right hand is doing move in silence stop telling people your plans stop telling people what you're going to do in life because they don't want to see it come to fruition they don't want to see you succeed 80% of these people out here are straight demons. Low lives. They want to see you destroyed. You know how many brothers get upset? You know how many sisters get upset with you ladies? When they still see you with your man? When they still see you in a happy relationship? You know how many women be really upset about that? And would never say it to your face how they really feel and some of them are bold enough to try to split you and your man up by planting seeds in your mind planting demonic seeds in your mind you know how many brothers be upset when you brothers are still living in your home when they call you and, and you were going through hard times at one time but you still paying your rent every month and you still got a roof over your head and you still got livelihood even though you was going through tough times. You know how many brothers be upset because you still living and you living good. You know how many brothers be upset 
when you can still pay your car note and they expecting you to lose that vehicle because you didn't bought something that's nice and you riding clean and they like man he ain't gonna be able to keep that car you got brothers praying that your whip break down that's why i keep these damn devils arms length i don't trust none of them the moment they offended they'll start to air out anything that you tell them they will use all information against you most of them most of them sometimes you would never know what you're dealing with to a person get upset with you or get angry with you when people get upset and angry then their true colors begin to show look out for people who, who get get to drinking because them sober listen those drunk words be sober thoughts. Pay attention to people. Yeah, it's definitely, it be snakes. Yep, they horns are show, but the problem is a lot of people don't want to believe what they seeing. They don't want to believe that that devil just showed you that they're a demon. You don't even want to believe it. The most high God give us so much intuition as chosen ones. Listen, let me tell you something. When we get ourselves into situations where we give people power and they're able to use it against us, most of the time after that's done, we beat ourselves up. Because the Most High God was giving us, he was giving us signs. He was showing us the whole time. He was giving us little thoughts that no, you don't trust this person. But some of y'all you get into your carnal desires. You start operating in the flesh and not the spirit. You ignore what the Most High is showing you about certain people. And then when you get in situations where you sitting in circuit court, where you sitting in family court, where you dealing with um, some type of drama because you was hanging with some brother that you know you must like his jokes or you like you know, you like the people he bring around or you like the type of women he bring around. Knowing damn well this dude is a maniac and he also bring drama around. But you ignore that part. You ignore that part. And now you're around this person and now you reaping the benefits of death and evil. Because you have, you have built a spiritual soul tie with that individual. I'm telling you, I'm careful who I eat with. I don't think people understand how spiritual eating food is with certain people. I'm careful with that. If I don't know you, if I if you haven't built a good rapport with me, I will not share a meal with you. Because I understand how spiritual it is to break bread with an individual. Some of y'all just be eating with the wrong people. Y'all at y'all workplace sitting at the table eating with co-workers who are demons. You're breaking bread with them. Why do you think Christ and the disciples broke bread together constantly? It was a spiritual convocation. You think I'm gonna go sit at some clowns at my job and just eat at any table? No. And that's why people, people get upset. They get in their feelings. They like, why are you always over there eating by itself? Because I don't trust you. I don't want to break bread with y'all. Call me mean. Call me standoffish. And they playing with the numbers. They jump in hundreds of people off at a time. Y'all thumb the video up. You see what they do over here? They always playing with the numbers on my channel. Everybody need to thumb this video up. These platforms already know what time it is. They know that we about to spiritually break free. They know where these words are coming from. And this slave system, they wouldn't even set up a damn lunch room. They would keep you in straight bondage if they didn't understand the spiritual ramifications that come from breaking bread with people. I keep these devils at arm length, I don't play. Because when you sit there and you eat with a person, spiritually, y'all being nourished at the same time. The most high God is nourishing you or Satan is nourishing you. It just depends who you breaking bread with. Because Satan give bread too. Didn't Satan turn, uh, didn't Satan turn, try to tell the most high he want to turn stone into bread? Then he tried to tempt the Messiah, not the most high. 
Didn't Satan try to tempt the mo the Messiah to turn a stone into bread? You got some people at your job want to buy you lunch that you don't need to eat with. That'll start keeping people at arm's length. And then some of them people at your job will poison you. Y'all think, y'all think, y'all probably think, right? Some of y'all on the outside who don't understand the chosen ones. And that's what we are. We have been chosen by the almighty God to bring forth this message. We have been chosen to walk out in the path that we're walking that is narrow. Some of y'all think that this is paranoia, but you know what? A lot of y'all don't know how real the spiritual realm is. And a lot of y'all don't know how far gone we the times are. Here you have it, the NCAA women's division swim, swim team was just won by a damn transgender. You don't know how far gone we are. You don't know how far gone we are, obviously. You don't know that we living in the signs of the times. You ain't understanding what, what, what world we living in. That's how far gone we are. And you don't think it's demons manifesting? We living in a time where if we keep allowing things like that to take place, it's only a matter of time before there's a grown ass man walking behind your little girls going into the bathroom. Using the bathroom with your children, with your little girls, with your baby girls. That's how far gone we are. You don't think the demonic realm is real? You don't think Pandora's box have been opened up on this planet? I don't trust I don't trust too many people at all. At all. It's to the point where people think I'm just I'm wounded. Oh, you're hurt. You've been through so much. You can't open up the doors. No, the most high God put this wedge of protection over me. And I hate when people talk like that. And that's what they'll do to y'all. They will shame y'all when you don't want to be bothered. They ashamed y'all when you start distancing yourself. They ashamed you when you want to be by yourself and learn by yourself and follow your creator by yourself. They'll start shaming you for that. Like you're not going to shame me for being alone when I see all y'all destroying each other. How that look? You want to shame me for being alone, but all y'all do is backbite, gossip, and mutilate and destroy each other. Am I supposed to just go along with that? Yeah, they be gaslighting us. That's a fact. Ain't no shame in my game. How we look being ashamed that we trying to actually develop as people and do something different in our lives. Somebody said, I was a rich, I was at a rich kid's party as a kid and some maniac was trying to watch a crippled guy in a wheelchair control um, his mouth, use the restroom, had to stop that one though. Yeah, real talk. Don't you know there's a lot of evil in this world? There's people right now kicking and punching on their grandparents behind closed doors. Some of these beautiful women you see are care providers and they out here, and they out here taking care of women in hospice and taking care of old men in hospice and they throwing blankets over their head and throwing blankets over their body and they're beating them that's how evil this world is trust don't you know what it's like to be an empath and to feel all the wickedness going on it's some sick ass people out here it's women that's that come in beautiful packages but behind closed doors they beating children they in daycares touching little boys and little girls Men doing the same thing, beating on elderly, in hospice, not taking care, flipping sheets, not changing their sheets, not bathing them, letting these old folks lay in their own funk. There's some demented people in here. Imagine being, imagine being able to feel that all the time. Why you think the Bible says to much knowledge come much grief? Why you think we so serious about this word when we can feel everything that's going on? Imagine having that energy where you can feel things and then 
people wonder why you don't want to deal with them when they got so many damn demons that they got on them. You don't want those demons on you. You don't even want to be in that in that area, in that vicinity with these people who got all those negative spirits. Somebody said, uh, Butterfly says, literally left the CNA world for getting into it with everybody, for throwing the old people over while changing them. Exactly. Exactly. Confirmation. Confirmation. Some of these women that you brothers be approaching, they some nasty, demented devils and demons. And a lot of them be doing things like that. Going over there, throwing the old, older folks, the elderly, over the bed, like just treating them like trash. These people are demons, bro. Demons and devils. That's why you keep people at arm's length. I, I, listen, I have a hard time shaking certain people's hands. I have a hard time shaking people's hands because I don't like the transfer of energy. Keeping them at arm's length, especially when you are really, really in your word. And you really have been um, practicing uh, semen retention and you haven't been really putting any filth into your mind. You, your heightened sense, your senses just go up. Your senses go up and it's like, no, it's like, hold, hold, hold on, bag, 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 bag. Give me 50 feet. I'm telling you, chosen ones, we move different out here. We careful with even responding to certain things. We, we careful with even responding to certain people. Because we don't like that transfer of energy. Yeah, we in the end days. Somebody said, even in a person's eyes for too long, the demons can show. Absolutely. Yep, somebody said, um, you're right about not wanting to be in the presence of those who have negative energy. Right. And they'll gaslight you and make it seem like it's something wrong with you. There's some people that always have the same conversation. What I mean by that is. You didn't got out of the hood. I want you to imagine this. You didn't got out of the hood. You didn't made something to yourself. You're doing something in your life. You're doing something positive. You become successful in your respective field. And then when you go back to which you came from, where you grew up, where you were born, where you were raised, and you hear everybody saying the same nonsense, the same rhetoric that they've been saying for like ever. Like nothing's changed with these people. Nothing's changed. But all of a sudden, oh man, you acting brand new. You know, man, what's going on? You don't hit nobody up. You don't do this or you don't do that. It's because I've grown. I have to keep a lot of individuals at arm length. And then and then being, let me let me explain something to you. Even when you were chosen one, and the most high God is bringing you to a certain place. He's showing you certain things. He's, he's giving you insight on things that a lot of people don't have. Listen, you could be a danger to even them being around them. You can be a danger. Why? Because they don't have the spiritual backbone or fortitude that you have. So then they can become a target. Sometimes when we keep people at arm's length, we're doing it for your safety. Because we know that devils are after us. We know the spiritual realm is real. We know demons are trying to take us out day in and day out. And if you're a weak vessel, I can't be around you because that devil is going to get at you. Don't you understand? Like this spiritual realm is real. This war is real. I'm doing you a favor not getting in your circle because I can see your uh, I can see your um, your deficiencies. I can see your weaknesses. I can see your inconsistencies. So I don't want to get around you because I know them demons going to try to use you to attack me. But ultimately, they're not going to win and they're going to tear you down. That's why it's important to surround yourself with people who are like minded. I'm telling you, it's important to keep people at arm's length. Somebody said, um, that's the frustrating part. How can people not be mature enough to understand? Real talk. Real talk. And those same people who... You know, try to force themselves in your circle, in your life. What they should be doing is looking at you from a distance. Looking at you from the outside, looking in and saying, hey, that person 
is doing something I like. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to mirror that. I'm going to try to, you know, learn from that individual. So then maybe, maybe through the spirit of the most high, we start to gravitate towards each other. Now that's a mature person. Yup, somebody said they too selfish. Yeah, you got a lot of people that's too selfish. A lot of your friends and family, some of y'all mothers and fathers are jealous of you. Are you hearing me? Your mother and father are jealous of you. There's gonna have to come a time where you let them go. You let them go. Imagine that your own mother brung you in this life. A lot of you sisters wouldn't believe this. Your own mother brung you in this life. You grow to be a beautiful woman. You grow to get yourself a husband. You have children and your own mother is looking at you in jealousy. Your own mama who should have wanted the best for you. In this wicked ass world, it don't work like that. It don't work like what you expect it to be. You got to get out of your emotions and your feelings. Some of these, some of these mothers, the way they treat their daughters, they'll do anything to get to get negative energy out of their own child. They looking at your shape and all that. They looking at the fact that you have love in your life and all that. And those demons come in your life to try to sabotage at your own mother. Brothers. I'm telling you, that's why a lot of the times women, mother and daughter can't really live together like that. It's different for men. Listen, a lot of times when a, a man is being raised by his father, they don't really have the same, they don't really have much issues like that in the household. When a young man is being raised by his father, but see, it's that demonic spirit of Eve. It's that Jezebel spirit. It's that demonic spirit where mothers, they hate their daughters. They be hating their daughters, bro. That's, just, that's sad. That's how much they bit the damn fruit. They don't want to see you do better than them. You better keep, a lot of y'all sisters better stop telling y'all mamas y'all business. Keep them at arm length. Do she have, you got to ask yourself, do your mama have the results of a righteous woman? Do your mother, ladies, do your mother have the results of a righteous woman? Do she have a husband? Do she have a family? Has she made it? Has she been successful? Is she happy? Has she taken care of her body? Has she taken care of herself? Is she sickly? Do she have the fruits of a righteous woman? Jimmy James, thank you for the $10 contribution. Says, white boy from Scotland here. Thank you, brother Newbreed. For your solid words and authenticity. Revelations 2 and 8 is what I just come through. Six demonic females, six lies, and ten days in jail. All praises to the most high. I'm glad you got out, bro. And let's get these, let's get this stream up to, let's get this stream up to a thousand likes. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's stop playing games, man. Thank you for the contribution, bro. Somebody said that's deep what you just said. Real talk. I'm telling you, man, like we move different. We just move different. And let me tell you something. When you move in different, when you a chosen one, when you authentic, when you, you follow in the spirit of the most high, you become an anomaly to those on the outside. You become a mystery. And that make them hate you even more. They can't even put their finger on what type of person you are. They start pricking and prodding and harassing you even more. They get obsessed with you. It's like, damn, why are you so obsessed with me for? If you only knew what I got to go through on a daily basis, you wouldn't be obsessed with me. They don't understand that you got to where you got in life because you had to carry a heavy cross. And half of those weak, pathetic people that's hating on you, that's watching, that's trying to, you know, gaslight you. And those people who are trying to find out who you are and what you are about. A lot of them individuals, if they went through, if they went through what you went through, they, they weak ass would break. 
They weak ass would break if they went through what you've been through. You done been, a lot of y'all chosen ones done been through so much, they don't even want to know. It's like, nah, stop trying to figure out me. You don't even want to know. You don't even want to know. It's too much your weak ass can handle. That's it. That's how I'm going to leave it at. The reason why I was over to uh, overcome, because I've been through something your weak ass couldn't. Press that on your conscience. Stop trying to figure me out. Figure yourself out. That's why I don't deal with too many people. I don't like people asking me a bunch of questions. I don't like it. I keep my private life private. Even though I'm on social media, I'm a very private person because I keep people at arm's length. Because then when you up in the streets and you recognize people think they know you, they get this spirit of familiarity and you know familiarity breeds contempt. People will start thinking they know you because they see what you got going on in your everyday life. That's when people get froggy. That's why every time I'm out in the public and some, I run into somebody who watch my content, it's all love. Everybody I run into is all love because they only getting, they only, they don't get the negativity. I don't project that. When I run into people in the streets, it's all love. They like, yo, what's up, new breed? And it's all love. I'm telling you. Somebody said, somebody said, the more you elevate, the more they hate, they do. They like crabs. They like crabs in a bucket. Y'all gotta move with a purpose. You gotta move in this life like you know what your purpose is. And somebody who move like they know what their purpose is don't have time for the nonsense. You don't have time to go back and forth with low lifes and losers. You don't have time to deal with drama in your life. You don't have time for those co-workers who are all about gossip. You don't have time for that mother or father who don't have results of a person who has lived a righteous life. You don't have time for that. Some of us need to tell our, our, our people that believe that they got some type of rulership and dominion over us because they family. Some of us need to let them know, listen, you know, I love you, but you messed up in certain areas. And now it's up to me to fix certain things that y'all messed up on. I love y'all, I forgive y'all, but I need to be left alone to do what I need to do. The Most High God got a mission for me in my life. Some of y'all need to let these people go. What the Bible say, if you love mother, father, sister, or brother more than me, you are not worthy of me. The Messiah is not playing with y'all. Some of y'all let y'all family dictate everything you do in life. Some of y'all let your friends dictate what, they, what you do in life. Some of y'all let the opinions of others dictate what you do in life. Y'all just don't understand how unimportant it is what people think. The only, listen, the only mastermind that matters is the most high. It only matters what the most high think of you. That's it. And half of y'all trying to convince people to think a certain way about you and you're wasting your time. When people have their mind made up, brothers and sisters, when people have their mind made up about you, you will not change. You will not change what they think. You are wasting your time. Some of y'all get upset because somebody in your neighborhood that says something about you. Now you out there trying to prove yourself. Now you out there explaining yourself. Do you know how bad you look trying to explain yourself? People say things all the time. You got shock jocks in the streets and shock jocks on the internet. Just because somebody says something about you don't make it true. And anybody who believes that it's true because they said it about you. Then what you have is a stupid person. Why are you wasting your time trying to convince stupid people who don't even do their research? Dumb people who don't even figure out who you really are? Just going off based off something somebody said about you, just a jealous, envious snake? You the one that end up looking bad trying to explain yourself. You out there trying to prove yourself to people who don't even matter. It's a waste of energy and a waste of time. People who actually make something of themselves don't waste their time with frivolous debates. Somebody said, women think I'm too good to be true. Not knowing what kind of cross I, I had daily. So cutting them off was for the best.
me not being around my old friends in Delhi was for the best. Absolutely. And that's why you got to have women in your circle that understand when you need time to yourself. Because a lot of us as men, a lot of us as men, we don't understand how much energy women take. Let me repeat that. Brothers, a lot of y'all don't understand. You got to keep some of these women at arm's length. They take a lot of energy from you. Even when you on, listen, when you on semen retention, you start to elevate for a reason. You start to elevate as a man for a reason. Mike Tyson went on semen retention for five years. One of the best boxers of all time. Why? Because he refrained for five years. When you on that level and, and you distance yourself for a little bit of time, you can actually build and grow and do what you need to do. Women take up a lot of energy, brothers. They take up a lot of energy. And when you get to yourself for a time period and work on yourself and build yourself up, you see how far you can go. Some of y'all jump into the waters too early. Sometimes you gotta keep an arm length with the women you do. Hey, look, we gotta take things slow. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We got to get back to brother saying, lady, look, look, I just want to take things slow. We got to get back to saying that to these sisters. We just want to take things slow. There's nothing wrong with that. Brothers, a lot of times we got a lot going on and we can't have our energy fragmented all over the place. See, a real sister that's down with you, she's going to understand. This is a man who's trying to grow. This is a man that's trying to elevate. This is a man with goals. This is a man that's trying to do something. And that woman is not going to be jealous. She ain't going to be envious. She's not going to be angry. She's not going to be upset. She is going to respect your time. She is going to respect the fact that you have goals and ambitions. She's going to respect the fact that you're trying to do certain things in your life. And you need to level up. Some of you brothers be holding these women so close, y'all don't even know how to function without talking to them. That's a, that's a problem. You haven't learned how to keep women at arm's length, so you don't even know how to function. Some of y'all brothers can't even keep your head on straight focus at your workplace because she missed your call. Imagine that. She missed your call. It didn't threw your whole damn day off. It didn't throw your whole day off because she couldn't answer the phone. Because you haven't learned how to stabilize yourself as a man. Somebody says some sisters think that because we want to take it slow, we're trying to starve them and torture them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you got to stay away from sisters like that because sisters like that, they end up being fatal attractions. They end up being like maniacs. They be on some misery stuff. Once they finally got you, they ready to tie your ass up to the bed and keep you there. Like no brother, no brother who wants to do things in life, wants to be tied up to no bed all day, every day. Most men, when they want to keep it moving, they got to do what they got to do. Now let's just be 100%. After you release, your body itself tell you it's work time. Are you brothers feeling me? After you deal with your woman, it's like, hey, bye Felicia. Because your body is telling you as a man, all right, you didn't create it. Go do what you got to do. Some of you brothers just want to eat a sandwich and play your NBA 2K by yourself. But your body tells you it's time to do something else. I can't lay around and all of that all day like, no, it's time to work. That's how a male body works. <laughs> it just is what it is. Yeah, all the brothers like, yeah, that's right. Hallelujah. I ain't lying. I ain't told no lie. You sisters need to take notes. <laughs> the brothers like, hallelujah. Yeah, after we release, it's like, all right, babe, look, I, I got I got to do something as a man alone. I'm I'm I'm, I'm I need I need some hours, I need some time. Um it is what it is. Our bodies are just designed that way. Science made us that way, but some of these brothers be crazy with it. Now, anytime you a brother who can't, a woman can't miss your call, and it throw your whole day off, and you can't even accomplish your goals, you need to work on yourself as a man. You need to work on keeping women at arm's length. You need to work on keeping people at arm's length. And then you have a lot, some sisters out here who love their space. This is 2022. 
There's women out here who deserve space and love their space. And look at that, we getting the likes up. We getting the likes matching the views. That's what we need to be doing on these chats. We don't play no games. Somebody said true, the same four to one women, yep. Yep, I see a sister say, I love my space. You gotta keep a lot of people at arm's length. And then when a woman really understands you and you a brother going through some things, when she's with you, she can look at your eyes and say, up, oh, time to get that man some distance. That's when you know you got a good relationship. When your woman walk into your man cave, she walk into your room, she look at you. It don't even take her five seconds. She look at you, boom. Oh, uh, let me get that man some space. He don't look like, he don't look like it's time to bother him. He in work mode, he in thinking mode, he doing something else. Y'all ladies need to take notes. Men love that. Yeah, I keep a lot of people at arm's length, but people love to gaslight. Let me tell you, tell y'all this. Stop making people make you feel bad. Make it feel like you a cold hearted person. Stop making people make you believe that you're a sociopath because you have become stoic. Because you don't put up with the nonsense. Because you know how to be alone and you're adaptable. Because you know how to level your energy. Let me tell you something. Even the chosen ones, the most spiritually elevated people, the people that the most high God is dealing with. There are times where we don't want to be bothered and we like, hey, bag back. I need to level my energy. Energy is very real and we need to level it. I must level this energy. I must level my energy. A lot of people out here nowadays are parasites. Jimmy James, thank you for the $20 contribution, says, Christ said, if you think they hate you, remember they hated me first. I would be dead without the book of life, brother Newbree, and the love of the most high who will never stop doing good. Absolutely, all praises, all praises. And we almost got 1,400 people in, let's get it. That's a beautiful verse. That's a beautiful verse. And that's something that you got to keep in mind as you rising and you're in this lonely path and you traveling down this road. If they hate you, they hated Christ first. Christ wasn't bothering nobody. He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't into no gossip and no drama and they still hated him. So you can expect people to hate you just because you don't tickle their ears and just because you don't entertain their dysfunction. A lot of individuals want you to entertain their dysfunction. And once you tell them you're dysfunctional, you need to work on this. They become your enemy overnight. You have emotional issues. And I'm gonna tell you, when, when, when we say these things to people as empaths, as God's chosen, let me say this. We are more suitable than a modern day psychologist. We are more suitable to diagnose people than modern day psychologists when we are telling people certain things about them because we feel these things. We have what you call kinetic energy. We feel those things. And it's because the Most High God shows us. And when we're honest about something, listen, I'm seeing emotional wounds on you. We're telling you the truth. But what does the Bible say? Have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? The answer is yes. When you tell people the truth in this modern day, you become their enemy. You living in a world that's anti-truth. Everybody believe in their own truths. So you become their enemy. That's why I keep people at arm's length. There's a reason why I move like I move for everybody who inquiring. New breed, why you read my comment but you didn't respond? New breed, all day, all day, every day in my inbox. New breed, you acting funny. New breed this, let me level my energy. 
just because I read your comment, what makes you think it warranted a response? What makes you think your comment over all the thousands of comments and how much work I got to do and how busy I am, what makes your narcissistic self believe that your comment is worthy of a response? Are you that damn self-centered? Don't you know it's thousands of people sending me inboxes? If I read your comment and didn't respond, who do you think, who do you take me for? Am I your personal damn pet to be played with? Am I your personal damn play toy? And I told y'all this and I'll say it again. You women, listen, don't inbox me nothing that you should be asking a husband. Go get yourself a husband. Don't be asking me questions that you should be asking a husband. Stop it. It's irritating. It's narcissistic. I am not your personal advisor. I am not your hired psychologist. Stop that. I'm not giving game for free. I'm reserving my energy. If you ain't helping me build anything, why are you even why are you even talking to me? If you're not helping me build anything, stop talking to me. That's how I carry myself. If you ain't about my father's work, if you ain't helping me elevate and spread the gospel, if you ain't helping me build something, don't talk to me. I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't care what you have to say. It has to be that way. Unless we are people who are building together, we're doing business together, and we have open dialogue with each other. If I'm giving you responses, that means I deem you worthy to be in my presence, in my company. All of us got to look at it that way. Don't you know y'all royalty? Everybody not worthy of being in your company. It is what it is. Everybody ain't worthy of you giving them certain information. I can tell you now, there's only a handful of brothers that I tell certain information to. It's all, actually, I can count them on one hand. Three. It's three brothers in my circle that I will be comfortable with telling certain things to. Why? Because we built rapport with each other. We built a trust with each other. We've shared information with each other. But other than that, I'm not going to be out here just give just just giving my information out like that. That's how you brothers got to be. That's how you sisters got to be. Guard your energy. Guard yourself at all costs. Somebody said the most high gave us air fryers and I'm about to grub. Have fun all day. Have, have, have a good meal. Yeah, absolutely, man. So I love each and every one of y'all. It's been an awesome stream. Um, I've been putting out a lot of content on Patreon and on YouTube if you hit the Join tab. I did two videos yesterday, awesome streams, current events. Then I also did a late night stream last night. I've been working. I've been active. Um, and that's going to be on Patreon. I'm going to post that on Patreon later. I was addressing a couple of trolls, a couple of scoffers, a couple of video responses to people who made videos against me. I did some responses for the sake of education and entertainment. You can find that video on Patreon. Consider being a Patreon member. There's lots of exclusive content over there. Show your support and you're going to be, listen, the price of admission is worth it. I be trying to tell y'all the price of a mission to my Patreon is worth it. You're going to be happy with the content and you're going to enjoy yourself over there. So consider following me over there. Follow me on Instagram as well at newbreed 404 All right. We're going to get the Instagram up because there's going to be a lot of business conducted over there and I'm going to start doing more content over there. So let's get it up to 10,000. I'm pushing 7,000 Instagram followers. We need it at 10,000 y'all. So if you don't have an Instagram, sign up and just follow me y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. I love each and every one of y'all. I want y'all to have a blessed day. With that being said, shalom and peace.